Today I want to show you an easy way to add a very freaky effect to your guitar, known as a ring modulator. First, create an audio track. Then, create a Line 6 guitar amp device. And create a Maelstrom grain table synthesizer. Click the Tab key so you can see the back of the rack. Disconnect the Line 6 guitar amp's output from the audio track's From Devices input and connect it to the Maelstrom's Filter A audio input. Now connect the Maelstrom's Filter A output to the audio track's left from device's input. Now your guitar is passing through Maelstrom's Filter A. Right click on the Maelstrom and choose Initialize Patch. To use the Maelstrom's Ring Modulator, choose AM for the filter type. In this mode, the resonance knob becomes a mix knob. Turn it clockwise to hear more of the processed signal. The frequency knob adjusts the frequency of the ring modulator's carrier signal. To use an LFO to add some movement to the sound, turn up the modulator B to filter knob just a bit and turn down the rate knob. I have an expression pedal connected to my KB37 audio interface. So I'm going to assign the expression pedal to control the frequency knob. Right click on the frequency knob and choose Edit Remote Override Mapping. Make sure Learn from Control Surface is checked and then give the pedal a tap with your foot. Now I can control the frequency with my foot while I play. Now I'd like to add a little room reverb and some delay. Here's an easy way to turn that delay into a stereo panning delay. I'll just connect the modulator A control voltage output to the delay's panning control voltage input and turn this CV level control all the way up. Now I'll sync this LFO to the track and set the rate for 3.8. 3.8 is actually in the other direction. There we go. All right, now we have a nice stereo panning delay. By the way, you can get a whole bunch of crazy sounds if you change the modulator B waveform. All right, that's it for this tutorial. See you next time.